What's going on, Skid? We got another window that is off track today. This is how they were put in since the very beginning, guys. New construction since 2013 when this place opened. The windows, I'm still running up on them. 2019, I'm still running up on these windows like this. I mean, could you imagine if a child came in and raised the window, came out, look at that. That's what would have happened. It would have come out on top of him, bonked him right on his little head. So I have to do this one too. You can see the, it's coming up there and pulling up this, this latch. Turn the old window upside down. All right, I lean the window up against the wall. And what I'm going to do is bump this little cleat out, just a skeeter leg. I'll take the screw all the way out. And you got to whistle your edges when you say screw too. I'll take the screw out, bump the cleat out, and put the window back in. All right, dudes, I can't stress this enough. Just give it a, a tiny bump over. If you go too far, the window is going to be too hard to open and then you'll, you'll be right back with a work order saying that the window is hardly open. So I'll just give it a boom. That's it. That's all you got to do, man. Just a skeeter leg. Let me try to fix that right there. About right there be good. After you bump it out a skeeter leg, you want to bring the screw in at an angle. It's not going to hurt anything. I've done hundreds of these windows, it feels like, since 2000 and... 14. I've done it the same way and it's always worked. So I bring it in at an angle just to tighten this cleat down so you don't go over too far. So you can still see the screw hole, but you got to come in at an angle. Let me get that weather stripping out of there. Sometimes it gets caught up under the screw. And I use the flathead on the back of the cleat just so it doesn't back up on me when I'm tightening the screw down. As far as you can go. Alright, that'll work. So you can see the screw is at an angle. Let's see if I can get that to focus. It's not going to hurt anything, but it's tight. Alright, to pull the window track down, get you a flathead. And then just pull it down as hard as you can. That brings it lower, and to put on the brakes, you just turn it. There you go. That puts on the brakes for you, so it don't flip back up and scare the crap out of you. All right, Lisa Kid Bro, I got two window tracks down. This one is a little lower than this one, because you got to come in at an angle. Bring the old window in at an angle. This little cleat, horseshoe cleat goes right into that horseshoe there on both sides so here we go Alright, the latches are in. Try it out. Nice and smooth. I bust a little PB blaster up in the up in the grooves too. Alright, now I'm doing the other window. I just wanted to mention that sometimes you have to do both cleats the way I did that other cleat. 
on the other window. Sometimes you got to move both of them a skeeter leg out. But it's rare. It's been rare for me anyway. And I've done hundreds of them. I've usually just bumped out the, the left one, a skeet, and then that was it. But sometimes you got to do both. Just, just whenever you go back in with the window, you, you'll be able to see if you need to bump it out or not. But I never have. So just wanted to mention that. And I know I've got a few window videos already, but repetition is the mother of mastery. So, all right, thank you all for watching The Dirty Maintenance Show.